welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about our Greenwood location, some of the cool features that we added when we built out the space. This is our third location. Our first was Indianapolis, second was Rockville, Maryland, and then third here in Greenwood, Indiana. This is a 9,000 square foot facility. This is actually our largest one, and I'm excited to show you guys what's inside. So this is our front area, our main lobby. This is where we're going to be doing all of our transactions. You guys are also going to be able to get coffee, enjoy some drinks. We have a few of our displays over here if you're getting window tint or paint production film. And then we also have some of our merchandise and apparel, as well as our pristine auto products, chemicals and towels. We also have a designated waiting area for any clients that are doing interior detailing or say window tint, some of the shorter services that don't take as long. Uh, you can come in here and hang out, relax, get some work done without having to worry about dropping your vehicle off. All right. So the first area is our paint production film. We have two full bays with lifts. You'll have plotters up there. Uh, all of our film is organized, multiple tables, peel boards, and then all of our computers to cut all the film. So a common theme that you guys are going to see all throughout the shop is a lot of systems and machines and equipment that we use to improve our quality or efficiency. The first thing here, alcohol and then also distilled water pumps and that's going to allow the installer to come over here, quickly fill up a bottle without taking the time to have to measure everything and sit there and t you know take two to three minutes to fill up a bottle. The next area that we're going to be talking about is our window tinting area. As you can see, we have a designated space, that way the installer can pull in the vehicle, get it tinted, and then pull it out without having any type of interruption or any workflow issue there. So a few features of the window tent area, we have these awesome uh, four by eight peel boards. What this is gonna allow is the installer can move these. They have wheels to any position that they want around the vehicle. They can put the tent on there as they're transferring it from window to window. Makes the installation process a lot easier. Next up over here, once again, we're really big about efficiency and quality. You can see we have all of our window tent labeled properly. That way they can grab it, cut it right here, and then easily plot their film without having to worry about it being the wrong tent. The next area that we put a lot of attention to is how we were distributing our air. Compressed air is used almost in every type of service that we do here, so it's important that it's clean, it's filtered, and it's consistent all throughout. Here we have this uh, Kayshawn. Uh, we use the same air compressor at all of the locations, and it allows us to, like I said, have those great benefits of um, quality compressed air that we're looking for. From an installer's perspective, having the right amount of air and electrical at your disposal is really important. Makes your job a lot easier or a lot more challenging if you don't have access to it. You can see on all the rows up against the wall, row here, a third and a fourth, uh, we have over 20 individual air supply and electrical supply drops. So the next area that we're gonna talk about is our wash bays. So we set this up in two different ways. Um, if we have two vehicles needing washed, we can use this middle garage door, pull them in straight, and there's actually a floor drain, um, and they can wash two cars at a time. If there's just one on the schedule, they can pull it directly in here, get it washed, and then pull it back out without having to have any interruption there. One thing that detailers often have to do is fill bottles with different types of chemicals. It's really important to us that they're filling uh, the bottles with the right chemical and also the right dilution ratio. So what we do here is we have a couple of different pump systems, but this one will pull from each individual jug and it will dilute it directly from this nozzle. It takes water from this input source, the chemical from the input source and combines them. That way, when they need to go fill a bottle, it's quick, it's easy, and they're getting the right dilution every single time. When it comes to running a shop like this, reliability is huge. For us, we choose these Kranzel pressure washers. They are incredibly good. They're smooth, quick, easy to use. And one cool feature about it is we don't ever have to turn them on or off. Anytime that we pull the trigger, it'll start to activate and turn on. Once we turn it off, it stops running.
The next area that I'm gonna talk about is our paint correction and ceramic coating bays. As you can see, incredible lighting from these. When we are polishing a vehicle or compounding or trying to remove any imperfections, it's really important that we have the best lighting. You'd be surprised at how many different types of LEDs that you can purchase. We have specifically chosen these. That way we can see all of those imperfections that we're trying to get rid of. Both of these bays have a combined 85 LEDs. We really emphasize the importance of having enough light. Whenever we're ceramic coating a vehicle as well, we need to be able to see high spots or any type of unlevelness of a coating. With this kind of light output, this is gonna give us the best results for vehicles. Another thing that we try to have is all of our installers to be able to have their own area. So it's important that these are on their own light switch. It gives them the ability to work in their bay and have this one off or vice versa. To continue in the coating and correction bays, we have these really nice wheels off lifts. We have two of them. That way, if we are taking your wheels off to ceramic coat them, or maybe doing wheel refinishing, it alleviates the strain of an installer or a tech having to go and use jacks or use any type of quick jacks where you have to move them around. These are always in one place. You pull them up on there, put your pucks on there, lift the vehicle up, it's super straightforward. So the next area that we're gonna talk about is our utility room. And it might sound boring, but this is actually uh, something that we're very proud of. Once again, anytime you're working within an operation, you wanna be able to have the right supplies at your beck and call. So back here, if any of our installers, detailers, or techs need any type of thing from, uh, whether it's a tool or some type of usable that they need, they can come back here, it's all labeled, and it's easy to access, and they don't have to, ever have to worry about not having a tool that they need. Additionally, we have two separate washer and dryers, and the reason for this is our paint production film and window tint installers are gonna be using different towels than our detailers will, and we wanna avoid cross-contamination, which could potentially end up under the film or under the window tint. So, uh, another area that we put some focus on is the employee break room. So, when you are on break, taking a lunch break or whatever it may be, we want them to be able to go, relax, eat their food, um, have some time completely away from the shop. That way they can get recharged and kind of have some of their own personal space. Last few things that we wanted to talk about. We do have our vinyl bay here where we're doing all of our vehicle wraps uh, as far as color change or chrome delete. That is something that we do in this main area. Up there is where we keep all of our extra storage and inventory. That way it's not cluttering that floor space down here. A couple of things that we took into consideration when we were designing this building and the build out of it was we wanted all of our installers and techs to be able to start their job, pull in a vehicle, and then pull it back out of the shop without having any type of obstruction. So this main section right here is gonna be kind of like what we consider a driveway. They can pull the vehicles into these areas, you know, correction coating bays, the film bays, vinyl, and they're not gonna have any type of interruption. Last couple of things that we wanted to talk about is the lighting. So we have over 189 LEDs in here. Whenever you're working on vehicles, it's really important to have the right amount of lighting, both the color and the brightness. We have completely spec the space out with that type of lighting. That way our installers have the best results every single time. We really love hosting events here because we have great parking out back, great parking out front, and it's such an open space that we can park cars in different areas and really it's an inviting space, it's open, and we're able to you know, have a good time here. Thank you guys for following along. I love showing you guys this space. If you guys have any questions about anything in regards to how we built something out, the lighting, we're here to help. We'd love to talk with you guys about it. Leave a comment in the section below about what your favorite part is, and we look forward to the next video.